Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Who I am, my name is Lima. Go for a bright, you know, vibrant colors. So I thought of something like a blue, like lilac blue, just to, you know, get my mood going and pretend as if it's a festival. I'm going to a festival, even though I'm not. <laughs> so anyway, um, stick around. So I'm just gonna prep my skin now, as usual, before I actually go on to the actual makeup. So I'm gonna be using, um, I'm coming up with a breakout, so I'm gonna use this um, tea tree oil by, um, oh, let's zoom in properly. Is it gonna zoom in? Uh, somehow. By the way guys, I'm using this new 4K camera, uh, Conan camera, so this video is actually shot using my 4K camera. I'm so excited, so yeah, it's, it's, it looks a bit clear actually, it's different to one when I was using my phone, so yeah, I'm grateful for that. So I'm going to just put a bit of this into a cotton wool, yeah. Yeah, which is my tea tree oil which is going to help with my blemishes it's good for acne prone skin you know blemishing skin oil skin and so on and so forth so yeah i'm just gonna put you know clean my face with that get any get rid of any oil and residue off my face and then we'll start the actual makeup mm -hmm. this feels really nice Okay, so that is done. I've managed to clean my face with that. Then I'm gonna follow by with my moisturizer. Okay, yeah, before you put on makeup, you need a good moisturizer. I don't tend to use, you know, any expensive or specific moisturizer, I just use a shea butter. It does the job. It's very nice. I made this myself at home, so you know, I make shea butter and I sell it as well. So, yeah, just scoop a little bit because shea butter is quite concentrating. So, just scoop a little bit of that and just paste it on the skin, you know, and just concentrate because shea butter is quite good for um, sports and blemishy skin and things like that, eczema, acne, you know, problematic skin. Yeah, that's shea butter is very good for everything. So I'm going to do my eyebrow, okay, so you guys, sorry, I'm looking at the, the little strain here on the side instead of me looking at the lenses, you know, to talk to you guys. Uh, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'm going to draw the line. I really don't like doing my eyebrow on camera because it takes forever with the eyebrow but I'll do one just to show you guys how I do it and I'm just gonna use this to fill it in I actually have a natural bushy eyebrow so I don't tend to do much to my eyebrow to be fair. It's just it's just trying to take it as easy as possible, you know, because I don't really do literally just taking I've just taken let me show you guys what I'm using. I'm just taking this um Max Factor Face Infinity concealer. But um yeah, so I'm just gonna go through and just define my eyebrow, okay. Hi guys, so basically I'm back by doing my um, eyebrow. So how does it look? The head with my um, 
makeup you know to start during the foundation and stuff like that so we can get on with it i don't want this video to be that long so first of all i'm going to um, spray my face and then i'm gonna leave it to dry a little bit and then we we'll just this is i always like to spray my face before i actually do my makeup so this is um prep and prime by mac fix plus and we carry on okay oops not open it spray a little bit out okay so nice and cool okay so i'm gonna leave that to dry a little bit and then i'm gonna go with my um you know beauty blender and today da -da -da, surprise surprise i'm using guess what i'm using let's get closer to the camera i am using fenty 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 by Rihanna and Pro Filter that's what it is and hmm, hasn't got my color on it actually and should have it says 385 that's my color okay so I'm going to squirt some on my face first of all you need to shake it to make sure it's well blended so squirt some here some at the top on the side and then here okay and then slightly wet my beauty blender and then I'm going to quickly dump that in oh it feels so nice okay I love doing my foundation with the beauty blender it's so nice doing so well oh my god the coverage is amazing remember you guys that had this redness down here look how this has just diffused and give me that smooth complexion amazing wow so i could i makeup i love it i absolutely love it okay so now I'm gonna go in with a concealer okay so um to always make sure you just I'm just gonna paste that on here okay and then I actually like my concealer I love when I put a good makeup and I put a concealer on I just love it honestly so I'm just gonna blend that in and some at the top nose okay and then my chin And I'm just going to drag it down here a little bit because I want that light to just, you know, when that get that light to hit, then, in, you know, everywhere it's blending perfectly. Just going to go here like that because I want that radiant shine and I want that face, you know, that makeup. okay so that's what it should be looking like and then beauty blender and i'm just gonna blend that in okay so that is done so we're going to move on for baking now. I'm just going to quickly do this. I don't want to spend like loads of time on this makeup because I've got somewhere to go. So I'm just going to move quite quick. Okay, so, so far it's looking good. Um, if I can open this thing. 
So I'm just going to put a bake inside my, um, so the bake that I'm using today, I've just been so bad. I'm not showing you guys what products I'm using. That's really bad of me. Oh, oh, I'll show you in a bit because I almost spit it everywhere. I'll show you guys what it is in a bit. Let's just do this bake quickly. So I'm just going to use my brush to just tap this bake on. Okay, just gently tap it on. Then I'm gonna use the beauty blender to mattify it. Okay, so Okay, so basically I'm now going to, I've put my setting powder, so the baking powder that I use is my, let me show you guys, it's pure bake, it's pure bake, that's probably everywhere, <sighs> anyway, so we're going to do the bake now, um, not the bake, I'm going to do the contour. I just need to get my head on exactly what I'm doing. My God, it's been that long since I actually did a video, so I apologize if I'm making mistakes and things like that. Please forgive me. <laughs> so, first of all, I'll just do my nose quickly. Um, so, I just like to get that pointed nose to it. Okay. So, the contour stick that I'm using is my revolution this is what it is revolution contour stick so just going to draw the line down here okay um, Okay, so the no contouring is done. So I'm just gonna now just get rid of the I always like to brush it up because I want that line. Do you guys can you guys see that line? Can you see it different? So guys, I'm just going to get rid of this one from the charm. So this one, you brush it up because you want to mimic the, you know, the chin, the jawline to make it look smaller and thin. Okay, so once that is done, we just take our beauty and blend that again and just... Too much. Okay, so that is done. So once we've done that, I'm just going to take a bigger brush and now just go all of it again. With um, just nothing, I just to, you know, blend the edges. Okay, so. I'm now going to go and do the eyeshadow because I really want this eyeshadow to be done quickly so that I can move on. So the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using, the eyeshadow palette is a company called Mayo Blue Color Hair, this specific one. That's the one I'm going to go for. So I've already primed my, um, primed my, um, you know, my eyelid area. So I'm just going to go in gently with this blue like sea blue or lilac kind of blue it's very, very nice how do you like it? fantastic check that how beautiful that is wow amazing okay so the brushes I'm using is basically it was sent to me by this company called Mayo, I don't know if you guys have heard of them. It's a makeup company that's based in um, Poland. 
So yeah, they sent me that to try. I'm going to put their details in the description box below for you guys to check it out. So yeah, this I really like. It's beautiful. Okay, so this is it. So I'm just gonna go into the other eye and do this one as well. So I'm just gently patting it on back and forth. So I don't want it to go up, you know, I just want to really stay within my okay. okay guys, so welcome back. So basically I've done both eyes now. Look how pretty this colour looks. It looks amazing. I love the quality of this makeup. It's amazing. So I'm just now going to put a bit under my eye just to, you know, pop my eyes a bit more. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so how is this looking guys? You liking it? Because I'm loving it. Yeah, definitely. This is my colour. Next summer, I'm going to be living on this colour. Trust me, I will be. Yes, let's zoom in. <laughs> So annoying when you do a nice makeup and you can't even go anywhere. It's just like, and um, I don't know if you, some of you guys know. I know I've got um, followers all over the world. So UK is under another lockdown. So we're on round two of lockdown, and literally it's like we can't go anywhere because where to go? There's nothing to do. There's nothing functioning. There's nothing to do. You know, it's just sad times for us, unfortunate. So I'm just going to use this, you know, brush that I got from in, I got a set. What is it called? It's a sheer coverage studio brush. So I'm just going to use it to blend, you know, to, to make sure it's fully blending from the top and there's no line. No, so everything is nice and blending. Okay guys, so I am literally almost done with my eyes. I'm just going to take a bit of the powder, of the, of the baking powder and just go here again just to clean up, you know, just to clean up some of the residue of the flyover of the eyeshadow. And then also to finish my um, look. My lashes because I'm so terrible when it comes to actually putting lashes on honestly I have to take my time because I really don't want it messed up okay so here are the lashes they are on and looking pretty so this lashes specifically specifically was sent to me by this company called um, iPod from China so yeah they send it to me so just to try it on so I love it it looks really pretty it looks my eyes looks really glam okay so moving on we're now going to summarize the look because everything else is looking pretty you know it's looking beautiful <laughs> so I'm gonna take this my kabuki brush I think that's what it's called and I'm just gonna literally gonna dump it into my um face powder by X1 
I think that's what it's called, X1, that's the company. So I'm just going to basically just, you know, dump face and then um, just finish it off and I'm going to put my blusher and, you know, highlighter and that'll be, that'll be it of my look powder. It actually feels really nice on the skin there. You see that smoothness? You guys can see that smoothness, right? The smoothness. <laughs> I love this makeup. Honestly, I look beautiful. Everything is well blended. Hi hey guys, so yeah, I'm now going to put my bronzer. So I'm using this one, okay, from Revolution. So there was so much hype about this um, bronzer. So I thought, you know what, let me give it a try. Because it's nice, you know, sometimes it's good to try things that people are actually. So I'm just going to use this to define my, um, you know, cheek. Just to define my contour a little bit. Not my choice. I love this um, bronzer. It's got this shimmery, shimmery um, look to it. Ring on revolution. It's called glow. Okay, it is a bit on the nose. So this um, bronzer is is a must-have in your makeup. If you don't have this bronzer in your makeup, then girl, boys and girls, you need to change your makeup game. So that is done. And the next one is da da da, Fenty. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a bit of that as well. I love this makeup. Oh my god, I look pretty. Like, oh, look, it's looking so pretty. So this this is like a multi-purpose. Um, highlights how you can use it literally for anything anything you can put it on your eyeshadow you can put it on your lips you can put it literally anywhere that you can think you need a highlighter so I'm gonna put a bit on my nose here oh my god look at that look at that shine and then the top literally anywhere that you think you need a bit of shine this it's a multi, I think it's called multi-purpose. Yeah, something like that. You know, we, no freestyle. That's the name for it. Freestyle. By Rihanna Fenty Beauty. A bit. Yeah. Brush it out, and then we take kind of a big brush and just smooth the ends. You know, smooth. Okay, so guys, that's more or less how I want my lip to be. Okay, so with my lips, I'm not really going to do much to it, but I'm just going to literally just pop Rihanna Fenty Beauty. So basically, I'm just going to pop a bit on my lip. Give me that bombshell brightness. Yeah, Fenty, you know, beauty. What colour is this one actually? It's my favourite. Sweet Moth. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sweet Moth. That one there. Anyway. Okay. So guys, do you think this lipstick is nice or lip gloss? Okay. So guys, this is the look. Okay. So now I'm going to finish it up with my Prep and Prime by MAC, something like that. So I'm just going to spray all over my face again and then we'll leave that to dry. And boys and girls, this is my festival look. So basically, let's check it out, let me come closer so you guys can see this makeup do you like this makeup this makeup look nice you like it boom if you like this makeup you know what you you know you, i think you know what you need to do i don't think i need to tell you guys okay 
hit that subscribe button below like share among your friends and i'll see you guys next week bye, -bye.